listen, every Republican is going to say, I'm going to appoint strict constructionists. That's what they say. But the amazing thing, if you look at the justices on the court, the Democrat justices all vote exactly as they're expected to on every single major case. Republicans, we bat about 500. About half of our justices actually honor their oaths, and half are total disasters. Earl Warren, William Brennan, John Paul Stevens, David Souter, Harry Blackman, the author of Roe v. Wade, every one of those were Republican appointees to the court. And the reason is simple. Every time what happens is a president is looking at a strong, principled, conservative jurist who's got a record, who's been on the bench, who's demonstrated he or she will follow the law, and then they have a stealth candidate who's never said or done anything at all to prove they've said, said or believed anything. And we keep having Republicans who say, you know what, nominating the conservative is too hard. I'll get criticized, the Democrats will fight me, so I'll take the easy way out and nominate the stealth candidate and of the stealth candidates that have been nominated, 100% of them have been absolute disasters. One of the big differences, I think, between me and the other very fine men and women on that debate stage, I've spent my entire life fighting judicial activism. Unlike those other candidates, I will be willing to invest the political capital to fight, and I give you my word, every justice I put on the court will be a principled jurist who will follow the Constitution faithfully and will not impose his or her values or policy preferences on the American 